Good evening, my loves. Happy Friday. Happy Friday flow time. I'm super grateful for you all tuning in to be here and start your weekend in the right way um, as we all start to move our bodies and feel our way into the weekend. My name is Lucy. Thank you so much for tuning in. Um, and we're going to get moving, start to, start to feel our bodies um, and get ourselves ready for the weekend. Just to remind yourself before we start, have your props to hand. Maybe blocks if you have them at home, maybe not, then you can put some books in replacement for those. A uh, strap or maybe a dressing gown tie if you don't have a strap to hand. Um, have some cushions as well ready for your shavasana for when we come down at the end. And remember the yoga police are not around, nobody's watching you when you're at your own home, so you can choose to move and breathe and flow exactly as you need to this evening. We're going to start. Come down to a child's pose, please, wherever you are. Come to a nice wide knee child's pose to start this evening. Hands are extended all the way out in front of you. Sink your seat right back to your heels. And I just want you to take a couple of moments as we arrive together, just to start to slow everything down. Bring the week to a close, no matter where you've been, what you've been doing. See if you can start to just bring everything into the present moment exactly where you are right now. Closing the eyes. And firstly, just noticing how you're breathing. So no specific forced breath, just see if you can observe how you're breathing into your body. And that might be in your nose, and if that breath is flowing through the nose, see if you can observe as you reach the very top of your inhale, where that breath is actually landing in your body. And so for some of you that might be shallow up in your chest and for others it might be much deeper down in the pit of your belly. Just see where that breath is landing. And then coming to observe the physical body in however it's showed up this evening without any kind of judgment. If you're stiff, if you're open, Seeing if you can observe how even in your stillness, in your child's velasana, you can observe subtle sensations. Maybe even dull vibrations that are continuing to move through the sheaths of your body. And then also taking a moment to observe your mind. And just see if you can notice how loud or perhaps how quiet the chitta vritti, the mind stuff, your mind chatter, often referred to as your monkey mind. How loud is that for you this evening? And now that you've taken a moment to observe all three of those elements, let's take a full deep breath into the nose together. Open the mouth, take a deep sigh and let the day go. And then in your own time, guys, start to work your way to your downward facing dog. No rush to get there this evening. Nothing is forced, nothing is rushed. Take your time to meet downward dog. When you arrive, take a moment to move. No specific instruction here, no right or wrong. Really doesn't matter what this looks like. Just take some time to feel your way into every part of the body, specifically paying attention to the places that you might have ignored so far this week. And then slowly steady yourself in that downward dog. Nice wide stance between hands and feet, but if you notice that your heels don't quite touch the floor like mine, you may choose to take a small bend in the knees just to help you to roll the tailbone higher. And then draw the shoulders back and spread your fingers as wide as they'll possibly go, really grounding into the tip of the thumb, tip of the index finger, as you press the ground away from you here, almost drawing your chest down towards your mat, but knit the lower ribs together so you're not flaring out through the abdominals. Take a full breath in again together. Open the mouth and sigh it through the mouth. Now seal your lips as we start to find our rhythmic ujjayi breath here together, we inhale into the nose for one, and the exhale stays in the nose. 
Inhale for two. And exhale. Softening the neck as you breathe for three. And exhale. Now as you next breathe in, as slowly as you can, like you're moving the body through honey, start to unroll yourself forwards to a high plank position. I want you to move so slowly that you can watch every vertebra carrying you forwards. And then when you meet the top and you arrive to your high plank, tuck your navel towards your spine and see if you can press the hands so firmly into your mat that you find a sense of doming through your shoulders. This is protracting, protraction of those shoulder blades. Take a full breath in together as you lengthen the heart forwards. On the exhale, soften your knees to the mat. Squeeze the elbows to ribs as you lower halfway. We're lowering elbow height and we're holding for five. Four, heart pulling forwards. Three, two, squeeze those elbows and for one, release the belly to your mat. Inhale, cobra, as you pull the hands back towards your body. Exhale, releasing the chest, tuck the toes, press yourself back. Add a mukha svanasana, downward dog. Three breaths, we inhale for one. And exhale. Inner thighs spinning to the back of the room for two. And exhale. Final breath for three. And exhale. As you next breathe in, we unroll to plank. Crown of the head arrives. The last as you reach to the top. This time again, chest pulls forward, heels drive back. Navel to spine, lengthen tailbone. Take a full breath in. On the exhale, this time option one, you modify the knees. Option two, chaturanga, high to low plank. We stay and hold for five, for four, three. Engage belly two and one, maybe inhale cobra, maybe now upward facing dog as you smile the collarbones to the sky. Maybe you take a moment to wriggle yourself here as you feel into the lower back. In your own time, add a mukha downward dog. Inhale one. And exhale. Slowing breath for two. And exhale. Full breath three. And exhale, bend the knees this time, look forward. Step, hop, or float your feet to meet the hands at the top of your mat. When you get there, inhale, halfway lift. As your chest pulls forward, your shoulders are pulling back. Crown of the head reaches, you're rising into the toes. Exhale, release belly to thighs. Let the head go and allow the whole posterior chain, whole back body to soften as you hang forward. You may find opposite elbows ragdoll. <sighs> Let it go. In your own time, guys, release those hands. Keeping a bend in the knees, start to slowly unroll. Super slow. Just as you arrive to plank, the crown arrives last. When you get there, use your inhale to grow tall, lift up through the fingers. Exhale, hands to your heart. Anjali Mudra, heart center, the union of all duality. Light and dark, masculine, feminine, yin and yang. All balancing here at the heart center. If you like to practice with any kind of intention, you can start to set your intention here. And for some of you, that intention may just be as simple as focusing on the sound of your breath as we move. Let's seal the intentions together. Full breath in, guys. Gentle sigh. Eyes blink open or they stay closed. Surya A's together as you breathe in, the hands lift to the sky. Exhale as you fold forward over the legs, Uttanasana, forward fold. Bent knees if you need. Inhale halfway, smile the collarbones forward. Exhale, step into your plank, your choice modified chaturanga or high to low. 
Breathing in as you smile the chest to the sky, cobra or up duck. Exhale, roll over the toes, Adho Mukha Downward Dog. Inhale together for one, and exhale. Bend the knees, look forward without craning the neck. Step, hop or float the feet forward. Halfway rise, growing long. Exhale, releasing bent legs if you need. Hands find the ceiling, grow tall through the fingers. Exhale, we melt all the way back to the mat, forward fold. Start to find your flow now, halfway. Exhale, plank, you choose how you move through your vinyasa. We inhale to find space in the heart. Exhale, add a mukha downward dog. Breathing in together. And breathing out, bend the knees, look forward. We fly or float, top of your mat. Breathing in, the heart pulls forward. Exhale to release. Finding that sky, we breathe in together. Exhale for a final round, hands to mat. Halfway rise. Exhale, vinyasa. And you can choose whenever we move through this space to be moving as fast or as slow as the breath is moving through your body. Let's find three breaths here together. Inhale, and letting the breath go, slow it down. Inhale, two, and exhale. Full breath, three, and exhale. Bend the knees, look forward, fly to the top of your mat. We inhale halfway. Exhale to forward fold. Inhale, hands to the sky. This time, exhale, hands to heart. We recenter Anjali. Inhaling now, bending the knees to Utkatasana chair pose. Start to sit all of your weight deep into the backs of your heels. All of back body now, posterior chain is working strong as you sink your seat a little bit lower. Take a full breath in, lift your chest higher. This time as you exhale, rock into the toes. Lift the heels as high as they will go. We hold here as you internally squeeze through the thighs. Strong navel to spine. You are long and strong through the torso. We sink our seat together, guys, for five, for four. Slow transition, feel it and be in it for three, two, and for one. Hands to your mat. Crow pose, Bakasana if you would like to take it. Knees will find your triceps as you squeeze the heels up toward the sit bones. If you're not quite comfortable with your crow pose, I always suggest here as an alternative for you to stand onto blocks. That's gonna elevate your hips a little bit higher, which in turn makes it easier for you to get your feet from the earth and to fly your heart a little further forward and to the sky. Wherever you are, guys, if that's not for you, know that's okay, this is your practice. From your crow, you make a choice, step, or float your way. Chaturanga, we inhale together as we lift the heart. Adha Mukha, downward dog. Three breaths together, breathing in. Breathing out. Knit those Lower ribs together as you inhale and exhale. Soften the shoulders for three and exhale. Bend the knees now, look forward, float or fly top of the mat. Lengthen as you inhale, please, and exhale as you soften those bellies to thighs. Find the sky, breathing in. Exhale, hands to your heart. Inhale, hands to sky. This time as you exhale, we circle the hands back behind you. Maybe you find reversed prayer with the hands. If that's not quite accessible for you, find the fists and press the fists together behind the back. Step your right foot about halfway down your mat. As you breathe in, we lift the chest to the sky, pull those elbows back behind you like wings. On the exhale, we lower halfway to a flat back. Now your gaze will be somewhere down towards your left toes. 
as you find that elongation through the back of your neck, the crown of the head continues to pull forward. Notice here the legs aren't just hanging out in space, they are switched on and active, almost dragging toward one another on your mat. Full breath in as you squeeze those elbows a little higher. On the exhale, you may choose now to soften your belly to thigh, heart to knee, and maybe head to shin. Notice here the legs should be straight, so if that's not quite accessible for you, you may need to step the feet closer together or you may need to be a little higher with your chest. A few more breaths here guys, nice and deep. One more breath in together. On the exhale, keep your left hand where it is, place your right hand to the mat inside of your left foot. If that hand will not reach the earth, this is your time for your blocks or your books, pop one underneath that right hand. Take a soft bend in that left knee and then rotate the left body all the way to the sky, release left hand to the ceiling. Once you've found that twist, you can re-extend, so re-straighten left leg as you elevate into your twist. If this is a little tricky through the legs, make sure you're using that prop underneath the right hand. Breathing to find more open, opening through that left rib. Exhaling as you rotate left shoulder back. Full breath in together here. On the exhale, soften that left hand back to your mat. Bring your hands to your heart center. We're at 90 again with the chest torso parallel to your mat. Full breath together. On the exhale, bend into the left knee. We fly together. Virabhadrasana three. Notice that right hip is probably wanting to lift on up. I want you to really resist that lift because it's going to throw you off balance. Square that right hip closed and flex through your right foot. Heart pulls forward almost like an upward facing dog in your chest. Take a full breath in guys. Exhale, we step right foot back of your mat, warrior two. Hands cartwheel wide open. Now you may need to take a moment just to readjust your feet. That front heel lining up with the inside of back foot. Front knee is stacked over front ankle. Start to find a solid foundation through the bases of your feet. And release the shoulders as you also release deeper into the legs. Full breath in guys. Long breath out, lunge a little deeper. As you next breathe in, straighten the front leg and lift hands all the way overhead to the sky. Really squeeze those hands together above you. As you breathe out, we sink deep into the left knee, skandasana, and start to squat fully into the left foot. If you're like me and the Achilles is short, the heel will lift from your mat and that is okay. The hands are at your heart center, the chest is lifting high. Notice what your right leg is doing. We are externally rotating the right foot to the wall behind you now. Take that full inhale as you grow longer through your heart. On the exhale, slow yourself down. We transition the weight all the way across to right foot. Externally rotate that left leg before we move back across. Lifting the chest to breathe. Exhale, transition all the way over left leg. Two more guys, breathing in. Slow yourself down on that exhale. One more, full breath. Exhale as you transition. Now walk the hands around to frame the front foot. Release your back knee to the mat and start to extend your hips to the back heel as you flex left toes back to the, that back toward your face. Adha Hanumanasana, your half splits. Maybe if you are feeling a hell of a lot of stuff going on in the back of that left leg, you place some blocks under your hands and know that that modification is gonna actually help you to find a deeper sense of space rather than crunching into too much sensation. Hands, Wherever they are, are roughly either side of the front foot. 
Using the breath in to draw your chest towards your shin. On your exhale, you may choose to soften yourself down. Or you may choose to keep the pose a little more active. Almost visualizing you're going to lift that heel up off of your mat. Finding space with breath. One more breath here, guys. Inhale. As you exhale, begin to bend back into the left knee. Tuck your back toes and lift the back knee. We're here rolling onto both edges, both blades of both feet. By rolling onto the blade of the left foot, the inside of the left foot will peel away. And rolling onto the blade of the right foot, so the inside of the right foot will peel away. You should feel this Pretty strong awakening here through left glute, also left side body. From here, we step Vashistasana side plank, nice and slow. For those of you that may have the big toe bind, you can take it here. Otherwise, step yourself there, control the movement, and start to really dome your hips up toward the ceiling. We are reaching for something with those left fingers. Banana the body through the underneath ribs. You may choose to take a variation left leg to sky. Maybe here if you have a wild thing that you would like to explore, you can take it as well. Otherwise, we breathe together just one more. If you're in wild thing, gently bring it back. We meet in plank to take our vinyasa through. Inhaling chest rolls forward and up. Exhale, dragging thighs back. Adam Mukha downward dog. Let's find three breaths, guys. Inhale. And exhale. Slow your breath for two. And breathing out. Inhale three. And let it go. Bend the knees, look forward. Step, hop, or float your feet to meet the hands halfway rise. And exhale, soften belly down to meet your thighs. Hands are reaching tall on the inhale. Exhale, hands to your heart. We close the eyes. Take a moment to reset with yourself. Notice everything happening in the body as a response to your movement and your breath. Pace of your heart. Temperature of your skin. Maybe even the way the clothes are now hanging against the skin. Let's breathe in together. Sigh out through your mouth and let it go. Seal the lips. We inhale, hands all the way overhead. Exhale, hands back behind you this time. Maybe reverse prayer. Maybe your fists come to touch one another behind your back. Step your left foot about halfway down your mat. As you breathe in, we lift the chest, squeeze those elbows together behind your back. Exhale, halfway to find that flat, long spine. From here, almost visualize those elbows are trying to wing up back behind you to touch one another as you work into that mobility of shoulder cuff. Continue to pull your heart forward. Breathing in and as you exhale, you may choose to start to soften your chest and your heart all the way over front leg. Keeping that energy line moving up through the inner thighs, dragging feet toward one another on your mats. Final breaths here, letting the neck go. Inhale. As you exhale, keep the right hand where it is. Release the left hand to the inside of your right foot. Remember, now is your time to use your block. If you were a little stiff on the other side, through the legs and through that twist, really use your blocks to help you elevate. Take a soft bend in your right knee just to help us to then rotate right ribs to the sky. 
extend the right hand and then extend front leg as you work into your twist. Now maybe the gaze is high to the front fingers, maybe the neck is heavy and soft, it really doesn't matter. Notice how the body feels in this pose. If it feels awkward, then maybe you move it. As I said, this is your practice and your body, so you feel what works and leave the stuff that doesn't. Full breath in, guys. Exhale, release right hand down. Both hands will come to your heart now as we prepare to fly. Inhale, heart lifts. Exhale, warrior three. Floating into right foot. Left foot is pressed, flexed toward the back of the room. You're gonna feel those glutes switching on here. Switch them on even tighter to help you stabilize. Inhale, chest lifts, exhale, step the left foot back of your mat. Warrior two, as you open up through the arms. I want you to feel a sense of tingling through the tips of both fingers as you really press those arms away from one another. Sink deeper into your legs, please. Releasing shoulders, we inhale together. Exhale, soften into the legs. As you next breathe in, we straighten the front leg. Hands meet all the way over your head to the sky. Press those palms together. As you breathe in, we sink into right leg. Skandasana as you sink into the right foot. Noticing right heel and maybe lifted and that's okay. Hands at your heart as you breathe in, find space in your torso. Exhale, slow yourself down. Transition to left leg. Notice the external rotation of your right leg from the femur bone rather than from your knee. Full breath in. Exhale, slowly transfer. Breathing in. And exhale, we have one more, guys. See if you can stay the same height the whole way across. Breathing in. And exhale. Walking the hands now around to frame the front foot. Make sure your back toes are tucked for the moment as you lengthen your heart. Then release the back knee. Untuck the toes and begin to extend the front leg. The hips draw to the back heel. Flex the right toes back to the face. Adha Hanumanasana, your half splits. Maybe you have blocks under the hands to support that sensation through the leg. Inhaling as you find more space in the chest. Maybe as you exhale, you soften yourself down. Allow the head and the neck to get super heavy. Notice where you're clinging on. Maybe the tongue and the mouth. Maybe you're clasping the jaw together by holding or clenching the teeth. Let them go. Inhale with me. Full breath out as you softly begin to bend back into your right knee. Tuck your back toes. We find that funky rotation to the outer edge of both feet. So the right foot will be grounded on the right blade, inside peels away. We're now on the blade of the left foot, the inside of the foot is lifted to the sky. Notice if you feel any sensation in that space, it might be a little funky in there. If you'd like to stay and explore that space, you can. Or in your own time, step yourself. Vashi Stasana side plank. Flex those feet towards your face so back body is awake. Really start to banana the right hip to the sky. The right hand can be lifted, it can be extended overhead. You may find that lift through the right foot. Maybe you flip a wild thing if you're going there. And then from wherever you are, we breathe in. And the exhale gently brings you back to plank to take your vinyasa, guys. 
and meet back in downward dog. Finding three breaths, we breathe in and breathe out. Inhale, letting it go. Even bigger for three and letting it go. As you next breathe in, as slowly as you can, just as we did at the start, start to unroll your spine forward to meet your high plank position. When you meet your high plank, really send your heels to the back of the room so you can grow a little bit longer. Chest is pulling forward toward your fingertips. We hold in plank and we slowly lower to our bellies with your choice of modified knees for five, for four, for three, two, and for one. Release yourself down. When you get there, roll onto your back, please. Roll all the way onto your back. And just take a moment to feel yourself in connection with your mat here. What does this feel like? <sighs> From wherever you are, start to place your feet about hip width apart, sitting quite close to the glutes, so you start to create that strong, solid base through the bottoms of your feet. Your hands, I want them to be grounded here, so palms down. And as we work through the spine in that high plank, we start to find that slow roll all the way to the sky, inhaling, peeling the hips all the way up toward the ceiling. Finding your bridge pose, I want you to feel the activation through the bases of your feet as you press the feet down, lift the thighs, a little higher. Your arms and your hands are just as active as you get those hips rising higher. Visualizing you're squeezing a block between the inner thighs. We inhale to find a little more height. Exhale as you gently one vertebra at a time. Peel each piece of your back body down towards your mat. Place your feet to the outer edges of your mat and allow the knees to fall together in the middle. And then gently take a moment to sway legs side to side as we neutralize lower back. Setting up for your second time, the feet will come back into alignment parallel. The hands this time may choose to clasp behind your seat if it helps you to roll up onto your shoulder blades. Coming up for second round two of your bridge. If you're using the hands here to roll onto the shoulders, really still continue pressing the hands to your mat as you drive the hips higher toward the ceiling. With every breath in, your heart moves closer to the chin. And with every breath out, your chin moves a little further away from your chest. One more inhale together. Exhale, maybe releasing the bind of your hands and gently softening yourself all the way down. We separate the feet wide, mat width apart, the knees meet together. Find that gentle sway of legs side to side. We're going to take one more back bend here and you have the choice this time, maybe to stay with your bridge pose. Alternatively, if you would like a more restorative version of your bridge, you can place your block or your book underneath your sacrum on the low back and allow the body to soften and melt into that block. Option three, if you have a Dharasana and you would like to come all the way up into your big wheel, you are more than welcome to come up. If that doesn't serve you today, you can stay with option one or option two. I'm going to stay with bridge as we ground our feet. 
My hands are gonna bind, but you take this time to find where you want to be, guys. And start to rise all the way up. We're going to be here for 10 breaths. See if you can close the eyes. Find that inward focus. Using the body to help you move into space. Notice wherever you are that your big toes are still grounding to your mat. So we take one final breath and use the exhale to come all the way down. Nice and slow, no rushed movements. <sighs> Lower back is grounded very gently without squeezing the thighs. Just soften the knees towards your chest and gently massage the lower back as you rock left to right. From where you are, guys, I want you to start creating a figure of four with your feet and your legs. The right foot is going to come into contact with your left thigh. Flex the right foot as you press the foot into the thigh. Flex the left foot and then the hands are going to slide through the gap that you've created and catch or clasp the hands behind the back of your left leg. If this is too much you don't have to use the hands but if you're there I would like you to be softening your shoulders back toward your mat and you can choose here how much you start to work into left glutes glute knee may be releasing, hip space may be releasing. Maybe if you're comfortable with the hands behind the thigh, you can place the hands on the shin of the left leg and continue to draw the knees towards you. Breathing for space. Let your exhale melt you deeper into the pose. Full breath in, long breath out. Allow the right leg to continue sliding all the way on top of your left leg now. So the thighs are now locked together. Place the left foot back to your mat. Lift and shift the hips to the right and soften your knees to the left. Spinal twist. The hands will be wide like T-shapes. If you notice, that there is a gap between your knees and the earth, I would like you to fill that space with a cushion or a book or a block. Notice where your gaze needs to be to be comfortable. And begin to allow your breath to explore every one of your ribs. Breathing in, letting go, kindly with the body, draw the knees back to the center, unwrap the legs, give the knees a gentle squeeze towards your chest before you switch the sides, left foot will find the top of your right thigh, keep the foot nice and flexed to support your knee joints. Right foot is flexed also and the hands will slide between that space that you found and then you can soften the shoulder blades back to your mat. And you could choose again guys, one side might be different to the other so you may need to alter how much pressure you use to draw the knees towards you. Remember there are no good or bad sides, they're both just different. See if you can appreciate them for their differences. Again, maybe if that's comfortable for you, you can slide the hands to the shin and continue to draw the legs towards your heart. Breathing in together. 
As you exhale, release the bind of your hands. The left leg will continue to slide all the way over right. Place the right foot back to your mat. Lift the hips. Scooch them to the left. And soften the knees over to your right. Supporting the knees with any props. The hands will be wide like a deep T-shape. You choose where your gaze is to support your neck sensation. Allowing each breath out to make you a little heavier as you surrender into your mats. Final breath, guys. Long release. Gently drawing yourself back to the center. Unwrap the knees. Wrap the hands around the tops of the thighs and start to squeeze your knees towards your heart space. You have a choice here as you start to prepare for our final pose to choose whether you need to take a couple more adjustments, maybe small movements, shifts, to prepare yourself for stillness. But then when you are ready, you can start to take the feet wide to the outer edges of your mat. The hands will be wide, palms facing the sky. And I want you to start to take up as much space as you possibly can on your mat. This is no time to be small. I want you to be big in your existence on your mat. Maybe cushions supporting under the knees. Coming to complete stillness as you allow the eyes to close. Swallowing any excess saliva that may be left in the mouth. And just acknowledging how you feel. Take a slow and full breath, deep into your nose. Open the mouth and let everything go. Allowing the body to get really heavy. I'm just starting to let go of the week that has been, of anything that no longer serves, of any expectations that you may have had about how your practice would look or feel when you arrived this evening. And if you have longer to stay in this space, I very much encourage you guys to stay where you are and explore the bliss of your Shavasana a little bit longer. For those of you that need to close or would like to close the practice with me, bring gentle movement back into the body. Bring awareness back to the breath and come to a comfortable seat at the very top of your mat. The hands will join together at your heart center, the eyes will be closed. Taking a moment to come back to any intention that you may have set at the start of your practice this evening. And then offering the energy that you have created maybe back to that intention or to something or somebody who needs that energy more than you do right now. Let's close our practice tonight with gratitude. Gratitude for the practice itself, for our amazing physical bodies, and for the ability to bring this community together, albeit virtually, 
to close our week and bring us back to the present moment. Float the thumbs to the third eye center, the space between the eyebrows. Let's breathe in together, guys. Full sigh through the mouth. Together we say, Namaste. Thank you all so, so much for joining me this evening. I love, love, love teaching Friday class. I think it's such a lovely way to end the evening. Super grateful for you all sharing it with me. Thank you, thank you, thank you. I will be here next Friday, note the new time of seven o'clock. You can find other things over on my Instagram at Lucy Maria Hale if you would like to catch me elsewhere in the week. Have a wonderful weekend, my loves. Namaste. Thank you.